Favorite guy, man. Um, chat. It warmed my heart. Actually, I could just go to his page. <laughs> it warmed my heart watching Meek Mill yesterday literally go through a fit trying to figure out why his name keep being mentioned with Diddy, okay? Now, we all talked about the 2014 party. I think it was a 2014 party, which is Meek's birthday party. Meek Mill 2014 party. Where, you know, they're saying that the housekeeper or the person who was managing the house, the property, said that they found cocaine, bloody sheets, used condoms, and a bunch of stuff at a house that they rented for 25000 It was at the Parisian Palace that they said Diddy rented to throw Meek his 27th birthday party, all right? Now, that kind of heightened the rumors of people saying, well, shit, maybe Meek Mill was up in there scrambling and scraping. Who knows? Maybe that's where the pool video happened, where the fries are on his lap, where he looks kind of burnt out and stressed out in the pool and Maybe that's where he was saying to Diddy, he was fucking his gun and he was talking to the Maybe that's where that happened. Maybe that's where, you know, that video came from. Like, uh, uh, uh. Like, I, 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 we don't know. So people started to talk after this came out. They said, whoa, this is even more proof. We don't know if you could say you're no Diddy gang. After you allegedly was down or you were around clearly, when some of these Diddy Wild parties went down. Meek Mill took to the offensive and he needed to speak out against the fuckery. First thing Meek Mill said, he said, uh, none of these publications are black owned. No, no, none of these publications are owned by black men. Posting things to destroy the names and brand of the culture. I'm gonna stand on this. I know it's somebody behind this. I'm going to start a war behind it too when I find out. He later then said, just think about it. You're waking up to a bunch of non-black-owned publication posting major lies about me. Where are all the PR people? Where all the PR people go that was around me? Wait, what the, is that like a rhetorical question? Where all the PR people go that was around me? Everybody see what's going on. I'm not going to be quiet. It was war on black men. When I see page six post something, it gives me a bad vibe. Go back two years ago. They only posted good Meek Mill news. I know how these things work. Like what just happened with Mike Tyson. Show his ass out. Get him beat by a young white kid. Come on. It's a mockery, I'm telling you. Then he continued. Why nobody looking at the fact? Wait, hold on. Man. Let me pause. <laughs> Why nobody looking at the fact of who we consuming this news from? I went to chat GPT. Yo, Meek is hilarious. Meek's answer to all of this bullshit is going to chat GPT. He says, I went to chat GPT. You know what's so crazy? He's complaining that the outlets that's reporting the shit about him are white owned. Who the hell do you, who the hell do you think made chat GPT? A black man? So it's like saying, yo, I'm still going to the white owned outlets to give me information about the other white outlets that's talking shit about me, but I'm just going to blame it on a white out. What? He says, I went to chat GPT. None of these people are even Americans and close to the black party. These weak ass stories. This wasn't even puff party. It's nothing to be quiet about if you're smart. So he goes on to show 
this is about the 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 party in question. And you know what's so funny? Meek just goes to Google and typed in Meek Mill birthday party 2014. <laughs> At least we get to see how Meek Mill uh, um, tweets and, and Googles. Okay. All right. And then... This is him at chat GPT. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I'm, I'm almost like impressed. Like, I'm wondering how Meek could sound this stupid when he has, he's using chat GPT and all these other things that are probably saying, hey, listen, let us think for you because you're too stupid. Anyway, uh, chat GPT tells him page six is owned by this. Here we go. <laughs> who, <laughs> yo, look how Meek like, who owns Daily Mail? <laughs> yo, you know what's so crazy? Meek Mill using ChatGPT like he's solving a Rubik's Cube, like he's like solving cancer, like he's finding a cure, like he's doing some who owns Daily Mail. <laughs> Daily Mail's owned by this enter. There's not even a follow-up question. Like, my nigga, like, find out these groups. Like, okay, say it says the source is owned by this. Find out these groups. Find out who owns the source. Source magazine is owned by who owns the Express Tribune? <laughs> Who owns OK Magazine? <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, Meek is just too motherfucking funny. Somebody say, every time I see Meek name, man, it's always attached to Diddy. He ain't beating these goddamn allegations. The sun is spiraling. Somebody says, yo, man, you doing it, man. You, do, you deserve it, daddy. You put in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you, man. Somebody's like, yo, this guy plays both sides great. Somebody said, Meek's past is the sheets at Diddy's house, not the streets. Somebody said, I wish he never made any social media accounts and stuck to rapping. Um, somebody said, act post. Yeah, I just posted no caption because I don't want y'all to say I'm gaslighting it. I want y'all to see Meek in his own words, okay? And in case y'all missed a tweet, I just want to put it up there. Somebody said, he's so deep in the closet, he lost in there at this point. Somebody said, I wish Meek well. You deserve it, daddy. <laughs> Yo, somebody said, you know he's cooked when he pulls out there trying to tear down a successful black man car. Somebody said, hey, Meek, you contradicting yourself. You just said no Diddy gang. I agree. Okay. Um, then somebody says, Yo, Meek, Yo, what's going on with the media targeting you like, like you Trump? He says, I think I got too powerful. <laughs> no, this is this is too good. Meek says he thinks he's gotten too powerful. This is why the media is goddamn targeting him. Okay. Uh, if you go to his Twitter, he did delete a few tweets that appears, but um he did leave some up. Um and he says, I got I got a big announcement next week. And he says, Y'all gonna have to start a war that can't be controlled after me. I'm telling y'all. Then he's like, next time I drop a project, it's going to change the way you see a lot of shit. Okay. All right, man. Rock rock out, Meek. Rock out. Uh, Yo, the funny thing about this whole Meek Mill situation is that, you know, just like I was saying, no one's asking you to explain and, and co-sign Diddy's entire life, but Meek is so bad at PR when he could have cleared his name with one thing to say, yo, yo, I've been around Diddy, but I ain't never seen no weird shit, man. Don't associate me with no weird shit. That's not me. I wish that man best. He could have said that initially, right? Instead, he deflected. He attacked me. He did everything but just address some of the very direct things that people were saying about him, right? Even the whole thing where they're like, yo, Man, I know y'all ain't calling me gay. If somebody call me gay, they'll get flipped in Philly. Bro, just answer the fucking question, my nigga, right? Then he went on to say no Diddy gang, which, again, I, I, it's one thing if you don't have any association with Diddy, but you're basically almost saying that you understand the allegations against him and you're saying that you know, maybe he's guilty of them when you, someone who's thrown parties with him, been at parties with him, you're now trying to back up off of him, pause, and you're now saying no Diddy when you used to be partying with him for half of a decade or probably a whole decade. So again, 
That's why it looks like yo, Meek looks funny in the light, but he's just horrible at PR, and we're just laughing at him. Again, do I think that Meek was, like, abusing nobody? I don't know. Do I think Meek is gay? Shit, I keep saying I don't know. This is how bad the nigga is at, at just responding to shit. Meek is somebody, I don't know why, nobody in his camp or maybe a label. You know, Meek was on, with Rock Nation for management and had Dream Chase over there for a while, but, but I think it's... Let me tell you this. You can't be two of these at once. You can't be stupid and arrogant at once. You could be arrogant, but at least be a little bit witty and be a little bit smart. But you can't be dumb and arrogant. So it's like one of those things where I think Meek has had incredibly smart people around him. But you're not going to tell you can't tell a dumb, arrogant nigga anything because he's just not going to listen to you. So you got to just let him just go into his own path. And I think this is why we've seen a lot of people just kind of back up off Meek and just realize he's a lost cause. Like his brain don't work normally. Um, this guy is damn near conspiracy theories. And remember when I told y'all, when I got on the phone with Meek, Meek told me, he said, Ack, he said, I knew you were behind 6 9 Popping out on me at Komodo because James Harden told me you were. And at that point, I said, this, this fucking Negro is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. This nigga is dumb as shit. He's like one of them niggas like, he's like a flat earther. Okay. So it's like, I'm like, all right, this guy is stupid as shit. So this is why I understand like him doing this. He's thinking like, he think he's just figured something out. No motherfucker. You actually brought more attention. Put it like this. Anything you can say about, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you two examples. Anything you can say about Meek Mill and Diddy, you can say about French Montana and Diddy. Have we seen French Montana say anything? Have we seen French Montana say, nah, no Diddy gang? Have we seen French Montana go on a rant? Have we seen French Montana say, nah, you, you remember this, this photo with French and Diddy? French Montana, Diddy. Where they all like laying down or whatever. And people saying, yo, bro, Diddy is shirtless and you laying right here and his ass is tucked right into your fucking, you know? Here's the thing. French, he just shut the fuck up, stay out the way. He ain't got time to be entertaining none of that. Has he been to a bunch of Diddy parties? Probably has. But you know what he's not doing? Doing what Meek is doing. He has shut up, got out the way. He was cool with Diddy. He was, I think he was signed to Diddy at a point. He's not going to be speaking like how like how Meek is. Meek made himself more look like a suspect or made himself look suspect in general by running his fucking mouth. He could have shut up, get out the way, just only talk about your music. Look at Fabulous. Fabulous was the nigga who he said, yo, when you going to party with me? We ain't partying a while. I like when you scrabbling and scraping, daddy. That's what we want to hear from Fabulous. Fabulous hasn't gone ghost, but he don't talk about Diddy at all. We ain't hearing one comment about that. And I think that's the, the best way to handle it, even though those guys aren't being accused of doing nothing, but nobody accused Meek of, of freaking them off. There's no accusations of Meek yet. So if, if, if you care that much about your sexuality, just clear it up and just kind of leave the shit alone. But, but the more Meek talks, he just look guilty. He looks guilty, bro. Okay? So anyway. Good for them. All right, anyway. Uh, <laughs> somebody said Meek took so, too much ecstasy. Yeah, I think Meek took ecstasy and shit like that. They said they found a lot of cocaine at that party, which is, I'm like, I don't know. All right. Okay. Um, I'll give you an update on Jesse Schmolet in a little bit, but let me